Shalom, it's Riz Russell Sullivan, Hebrew Israelite. Uh, today, I'm just going to bring out this short little study on Genesis 1, 1 through 5. I don't, I don't have much time, you know. I'm, I'm just doing 1 through 5. And uh, just going to show the power of the Most High, man. He created the heavens and the, and the earth, you know. And, like, the Most High. He, he can do all things, you know what I'm saying? Like, our people need to wake up and see this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just check out this, man. I want to send shouts out to the Torah Knights. Shouts out to Judanaz. Shouts out to my brother, you know, by Edomai Israel. Shouts out, uh, and, uh, we just going to go ahead and get started, you know? So, we're going to start at Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. And it says, he said, in the beginning, right? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. When the earth was astonishingly empty without darkness upon the surface of the deep, right? And the divine presence hovered upon the, upon the surface of the waters. All right, we're going to stop right there, and we're going to go back a little bit. All right, now check it out. The Most High said, the earth was astonishingly empty with darkness upon the face of the deep. So it was dark. It was dark, right? There we go. It was dark. All right. So what is dark? Right? Dark. Darkness. Dark. Dark is the Koshik. Right? The Koshik. Darkness. Right? Uh, a fail. Dark. Or a fall. Dark. And the Koshik. The Koshik is the darkness. Right? And darkness is the state or quality of being dark, absence or efficiency of light, wickedness or evil, obscurity, concealment, lack of knowledge or enlightenment, lack of sight or blind, blindness, right? So, it's without light, without sight. Like blindness. You know what I'm saying? State of being dark. Right? Dark. The void of light. Not receiving reflection. Transmitting or radiating light. Right? So, we know that from there, that it was no light at all. Just complete darkness, right? And then what happened? The, and then the divine presence hovered over the waters, right? Over the surface of the waters. The divine presence, the Ruach, right? That's what it say in the Torah, say the Ruach. Check it out. All right, see, it says the uh, the Ruach, right? Get in so you can see that. All right, Ruach. So that's the Ruach, which is the wind or the spirit, right? All right, so the Ruach, right, which is uh, the wind, breeze, soul, spirit, the essence, you know, the Ruach, it hovered over the face of the waters, you know, out of this darkness came the Ruach, and it hovered over the faces, right? 
So, check it out. And the Ruach was the divine presence, right? So, the, we know that the divine presence to be Yahweh, right? Uh, check it out, man. Yah is God, right? Yah is God, right? Hi Yah to be, to exist. You know what I'm saying? And that's that wind. You know what I'm saying? That's that wind, that spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's that essence. That's that breeze. You know what I'm saying? The soul, right? The Ruach, which was the divine presence, right? So, when it was darkness, that was that only thing that existed. Out of the darkness, right? And, and the most high you have, right? Yahweh, he said, let there be light. So out of that darkness came light. Right? Check it out. So out of that darkness, the Most High said, let there be light, and there was light, but yet there was no sun. You understand? The Most High said, let there be light, and there was light, and the light was good, right? So, let's examine this, all right? What is light, exactly? What is light? All right, light is the in the electromagnetic radiation that is visible, perceivable by the normal human eye as colors between red and violet, having frequencies between 400 terahertz and 790 terahertz. The wavelengths between 750 nanometers and 380 nanometers also called visible light, all right? I'm not going to go into uh, the nominator and electromagnetic and the radiation and the frequencies. I'm not going to go into all that, but we're going to go into light. Light, you know what I'm saying? It's the or in the Hebrew words, or. It's light, a natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible understanding of a problem or mystery or enlightenment uh, illuminate you know what I'm saying provide with light or lightning to illuminate you know uh, burning you know what I'm saying start burning ignite make some uh, having cons considerable having considerable or, or sufficient amounts of light uh, you know, so light, you know what I'm saying, a uh, natural agent that stimulates sight uh, and make things visible, that's or, light, you know what I'm saying, uh, the electromagnetic radiation that is visible, perceivable by the normal human eye as colors between red and violet having frequencies between 400 terahertz and 790 terahertz and wavelengths between 790 nanometers and 380 nanometers, also called visible light. That's what light is, right? And the most I said, let there be light and that was light, right? Check that out, man. And this was done by the Ruach, the Divine Spirit. You know what I'm saying? When there was only darkness. Right? When there was only darkness, the Most High said, let there be light. And there was light. No sun. So, 
See? And the light was good. And that divine spirit, the Ruach, the Elohim, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh separated, you know what I'm saying? Elohim separated, you know what I'm saying? Between light and darkness. So, between light and darkness. The Elohim, he separated between the darkness and the light. The light and the darkness, right? And Yah, Yahweh, and God called the day, the light day, right? And the darkness, he called night. Evening and more than one day. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's incredible. Because you know what I'm saying? When there was nothing, you know what I'm saying? The divine spirit hovered over the surface of the deep. You know what I'm saying? Deep. Having a large distance between the bottom from the surface or highest point. Going forward, far inward from the outside or the front edge of something. Located far inside of something occurring occurring or located near the outer limits of a plane area a hey, difficult to penetrate or comprehend mysterious obscure uh grave in nature or effect uh a penetrating intellect intensely engrossed or immersed characterized by Fidelity or feeling or equality, uh, deep seated, uh, high saturated, and low in lightness, uh, having musical pitch, low music, having low musical pitch or pitch range, uh, being low, being below the level of consciousness, uh, covered and closed to or feel. To a specific degree, uh, you know, deep, you know, it's the a, a mock, you know, it's the a mock, deep, uh, deep darkness, you know what I'm saying? You know, darkness is. Uh, you know, the the Koshik, the darkness, you know, state of being dark, you know. So, that's the study that I was trying to put out for today, you know, showing that the most high is the, is the Ruach, the spirit who did this, you know what I'm saying. There's no other, no other God, no other Elohim. You know, all praise Yahweh alone, man. You know, Genesis 1 1, man. Genesis 1 through 5. All right, Kal Halalah, Yahweh, Kal Shalawam, Israel.